A Hyde County jury found Ken Huber guilty of first-degree murder nearly three years ago for the death of his wife, Pam, inside their home. But now the South Dakota Supreme Court says whether the shooting was accidental or intentional still needs to be determined. When you look at uh, the challenges that both the attorneys and the trial judge face in a, in a case of this nature, uh, you know, there's a lot of difficult decisions that need to be made. Court documents show Huber was involved in an extramarital affair with the Hyde County State's Attorney at the time of the shooting. During court testimony, the state of South Dakota argued that as the former chief of police, Huber was well trained with handguns and that Huber shot his wife in the forehead on purpose. The defense argued that the gun accidentally discharged as he tried to put a gun safe on the weapon. During the trial, the court refused expert testimony in Huber's defense that well-trained officers do accidentally discharge their weapons. According to the Supreme Court Justice's opinion, the circuit judge made a mistake when he didn't allow this evidence. At this point, uh, I believe that the case can be retried with a little more precision based upon some of the guidance contained within that Supreme Court decision. With all the publicity surrounding this case, questions arise as to where the new trial will be held, where the jury pool will come from, and how much money a second trial will cost. When you have a case of this nature, a murder case, uh, you know, obviously we need to be careful with the taxpayers' money, but it, it is our position that, uh, you know, a case, you know, needs to be resolved on behalf of the state and on behalf of the victims. The South Dakota Attorney General says the case will be presented in front of 12 new jurors to decide the fate of Huber again as soon as it is practical. Melissa Payne, KDLT News.